The perfect video camera does not exist. And that is a bold statement, I know, but it is true. And here is why. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Duncan Dimanche, and I'm a French photographer and filmmaker living in the sweet city of Paris. I have a lot of people asking for my advice in a video camera for the first purchase. They want to make, you know, they want to film themselves. They want to do some vlogging, also filming other stuff. So what do I need in a video camera? And there are five things that are really important in the video camera that none of the cameras have. So here they are, 4K, image stabilization, good in low light, flip out screen, and being able to record with continuous autofocus. And if you look at all the cameras out there, none of them have those five things. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button to support this channel, guys. Take Canon, for example. None of the Canon have the five points that I want. Uh, they do not have flip out screens, and uh, they don't all have 4K. Some do have flip out screen, but they don't have 4K. 6D. Some of them have 4K but not flip out screen or IS, 5D Mark IV. Some of them have everything but the continuous autofocus doesn't work in 4K, the M50, and has a huge crop when you're shooting in 4K. And none of the Canon have in-body image stabilization. And the new mirrorless Canon EOS R does not have all the function either. The 4K has a 1.7 crop, which is huge. A 50mm will turn into an 85 and it does not have image stabilization in body. Now the Nikon, none of the Nikons have good continuous autofocus with the DSLRs. So Nikon is out of the question and none of them have in body stabilization. Maybe the new uh, mirrorless full frame coming out, the Z6 and Z7, they might have all that, but I highly doubt that they'll have everything that I'm asking for here. And the new Nikon mirrorless cameras, the Z6 and Z7, do not have a flip out screen. They have everything else but no flip out screen for vloggers or even people that wants to check on the exposure and the framing like I would do in making this video. Now comes Sony. Sony have the best image quality out of all the mirrorless and DSLR out there but none of them have flip out screens. They have good autofocus, it's just they do not have the flip out screen. So, and it's so important, right, I'm using the A6500 right now and I had to go back and forth about four or five times to get the perfect light possible and I think I still uh, messed it up because I just gave up. So Sony is out of the question if you want those five points. Now comes Panasonic. Panasonic almost had it with the GH5, but the low light is pretty horrible. They fixed the autofocus with a few hacks. You can now get really decent autofocus, so that's neat. And they have flip out screen, image stabilization, 4K on all the cameras. Then they came out with the GH5S, which has everything that you could ask for except image stabilization. It has way better low light than the GH5, but you get rid of the image stabilization, so you'll have to choose. Also, none of the Panasonic before the GH5 and the GH5S have decent autofocus, continuous autofocus in video mode. And the new Fuji X-T3 is almost the perfect camera, but once again, does not have a flip out screen. None of the Fuji actually have flip out screens uh, that also have 4K image stabilization and all that. So Fuji is out of the question too. I can talk also about the Blackmagic, the new one that came out, does not have a flip out screen, does not have image stabilization. So it really is hard to get the perfect camera. So, so the perfect camera would have to be the GH5 with the Sony sensor and the autofocus of the Canon. And on top of that, I would love to have the five inch LCD of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, but a flip out one, of course. That would be the dream camera, but I don't know how many years we're gonna have to wait for that. I think a long time. I wanna finish up by saying that if you don't need 4K and you can live without image stabilization, I would go with a Canon T7i or the 800D if you're in Europe because this camera really does it all. It has a really good image straight out of the box and uh, has a flip out screen, good autofocus, has a face detection also. And uh, it's decent in low light, definitely good in low light. And if you really need image stabilization, then you can just get a lens that has it. And its price is very affordable. Let me know in the comments below what's the perfect camera for you. What are the attributes to making the perfect camera and the subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one all right i've been trying to finish this video but i can't because every time i try to post it a new camera comes out now the panasonic just came out with a new camera 
and it's a full frame mirrorless, the first full frame in collaboration with Sigma and Leica. So it's called the L mount and I truly believe that this will be the perfect camera for everyone. It has a flip out screen, it has 4K, apparently the autofocus is gonna be great. It's a full frame so it should be good in low light and it has image stabilization for sure, no doubt about it. And this is why I love Panasonic. They do, they always step up the game so that should be the perfect camera guys.